We're talking about our first 90 degree day of the year uh, coming our way pretty quickly. It's wild to be talking about this while it is snowing in parts of our state right now. We've got an unseasonably cool day ahead of us, but just a couple of days from now, we're going to be sitting in the 90s and it's about that time. On average, when you take a look at our all time average, our first 100 degree uh, uh, in the last uh, let me say that again. Uh, when we take a look at our all time average for our first 90 degree day, it's April 3rd. All time meaning going back to the 1890s. That's when we first uh, started uh, keeping records around here. When you take a look at just the last 30 years, uh, it's actually uh, on March 30th. And so we're going to see it around the 8th or 9th uh, this upcoming weekend. And so we're a little bit past that. Earliest ever was February 17th in 2016. And last year it was on March 25th. So we're past that. Uh, this is lining up with Easter weekend. So Saturday into Sunday. We're going to be into these low 90s. It's looking pretty sure that's a sure thing for Sunday. Saturday may be close. We'll be right at 90 degrees. So we're going to wake up to temperatures in the 60s. By the way, those are our highs for today. Those will be the lows by Sunday morning, then 77 by 10 a.m. 91 by the early afternoon hours and 93 for a high temperature slowly dropping back into the 80s during the evening hours. Across the state on Sunday, 74 for Sholo, 65 for Flagstaff. It's going to be a lovely holiday across the state. 83 for Kingman and 79 for Prescott, but in the deserts of the state, these are the warmest temperatures we've seen so far this year. Now today, what a different story. We're barely going to make it into the mid 60s this afternoon. We're going to stay breezy and cool. The winds are going to make it feel a little bit chillier. 63 by 5 o'clock, then upper 50s. If you've got a game or a practice outside tonight, uh, you're going to want to grab that jacket or that sweatshirt, maybe a blanket uh, again, because these temperatures are not normal for us this time of year. And wind speeds are picking up later today. They're going to be between 15 and 20 miles per hour. That is much lighter those winds than we saw last night, but this is still breezy and again, it's going to make it feel cooler all the way through the evening hours because we don't see much relief until overnight tonight. What else are these winds going to impact your allergies likely because all the pollen, uh, the pollen counts are climbing and it's going to be blowing around trees, weeds, grasses all in the moderate to high category. The storm systems bring a pretty large threat of severe weather as it pushes across the country for the West. This is still to the north of us right now, so a little bit of light snow in the high country today, some lingering breeziness and then this is system is out of here as we get closer to the second half of the week ahead. 70 for tomorrow, 80 for Thursday, 86 Friday. Then we're into those 90s and it looks like we're going to stay there at at least the start of next week.